Have you ever wondered how to obtain a registration certificate or travel permit in Spain? Well, what you need is the EA existing form. If you are in process of regularizing your situation in Spain, this form is essential for you. In this video, we'll explain step by step how to obtain and fill out the EA existing form. To obtain Form EX16, you can visit the website of the Social Security of the Government of Spain or go to Entratramites website. For today's example, we will use the Entratramites page. All links will be in the description. Once inside, you can find the form in two ways. The first is by using the search bar at the top of the page. Just enter the keyword EX16 and the search engine will find it. Once in the search results, click on the card that says how to fill out EX16 form. The other way is to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Downloadables. Once inside, select the topic of interest, in this case Extranjería, which provides official immigration forms. I scroll down to find Form EX16 under Otras Solicitudes. This will take you to the same page as the first method. At this point, we recommend reading the information at its relevant. The video is focused on how to obtain and fill out the form. I scroll down to the Descargar Modelo section, click and once you have the form, you will see that the first section is for the foreigner's data. First, enter your passport number, and if you have it, also enter your foreign identity number or NIE in Spain. Next, write your last name, and if you don't have a second last name, leave it in blank. Write your first name and select your gender. H is for male and M is for female. Enter your date of birth in the format of two digits for the day, two digits for the month, and four digits for the year. Then, enter the place and country of birth, your nationality, and marital status. S for single, C for married, B is for widow, D is for divorced, and SP is for separate. Now, enter your father's name and your mother's name. It put your address in Spain, the one you register in the municipality during the registration process. This is important because you must have an address where you can receive notification or authorities can contact you. Write your address, including the house number, and if you live in an apartment complex, write the floor you are on. Fill in the town or city, the postal code, and the province where you live. Enter your contact information such as phone number and email address. If a legal representative, like a lawyer, is filling out this form for you, they should complete this section and write their passport ID or NIE. In the section called Título, they will write the title under which they maintain representation. However, if you are an adult filling out your own application, simply ignore this line. In section 2, fill in the representative details for the purpose of submitting the application. Write their personal information, passport, name, date of birth, address and the relationship they have with you, such as spouse, child, mother, etc. Now, section 3 should only be filled out if the foreigner, in this case you, as a legal representative, otherwise leave this section blank. In section 4, specify the type of document you are requesting, either a cellular inscription with a subtopic for minors or young foreigners, under the protection of child protection entities, or a título de viaje with or without return to Spain, specifying the destination. The next point is to fill in the reasons for applying. In this line, state the reason for your application. In the provincial line, put the province from where this application is being made and also write the date of application, whether online or in person at one of the corresponding offices. For this step, you or your legal representative must sign with two options, either print the form and sign it manually if you decide to submit it in person at one of the relevant offices or sign it electronically using a digital certificate. The last page is only used for instructions, so you should not include it in your application when print this form. And there you have it, that's how you fill out the form EX16. For more information, remember to check our website and follow us on our social media platforms. You'll find the link in the description box below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve with expert guidance on streamlining your paperwork, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to our channel.